Yo, what is good, everybody? What is good, yo? So, with what we got with the two animes this week, um, I want to say there was a really weird moment where, uh, in one show that I want to talk about, but right now we're going to talk about some Tokyo Ghoul. Re, holy crap! Um, so we're preggers. <laughs> um, my boy Kamaki getting it in, getting that toka. And to be honest, there were some lines in here that kind of gave me the impression that um, there was definitely stuff missing. There was things that uh. They kind of just squeezed in there to make it seem like, uh, you know, they were planning on doing this in a sense. But to be honest, I could kind of tell that um, with some of the ways Toka was uh, stating things, it put into a clear perspective to me that there was a lot more of uh, Hisei going to uh, the coffee place than we necessarily seen. But at the same time, it is uh, quite a minor thing that was answered through this episode in the in a way that I think is almost, you know, the same if not better than us watching him randomly go into the coffee shop, you know, and doing whatever he does. I mean, sure that for me being a fan and seeing the slow the stuff be slow and you know taken seriously is nice. But at the same time, it's something that. Um, they could have easily avoided and then by you know toka actually telling us how she feels over all this time since we haven't even seen her it was just a good way to squeeze in the notion that our boy has been showing up uh regardless of you know what we thought or regardless of how fast things are going there are still these times in the show that he had time to go and visit there so um, and my prediction was on point, and I think that's why people in my comments section and on uh, Anime and Mimo didn't really comment on what I said, because I guess I might have been <laughs> spoiling it, but um, I really wasn't trying to. This is me, uh, you know, I'm I'm fresh out the uh, anime, and I've never read the manga, so to all of a sudden just guess these things, get them right. Uh, it's definitely a gift and a curse at the same time, but nonetheless, uh, Mitsuki or Mutsuki, whatever the, I think he's a guy in this show. I think they missed the mark on knowing that they, it's actually a girl. Um, I mean, unless she's really playing a good role of, you know, being mad, like hating females and all this other stuff, you know, like. There's a lot of things that was said just in this week's episode that gives us um, a couple of weird, uh, well, it gave me a couple of weird feelings about them. I'm going to call them them because I don't want to keep calling it a boy or girl if the show is going to uh, deviate from being a boy or deviate from being a girl, then I should, you know, deviate from <laughs> doing it myself until we know for sure. Um, but with that being said, with them being the way that they are and it kind of felt like they are doing the girl route because of like oh what am i to you and you know i i care for you and all this and that it gives you more of the notion that there is this female type of uh you know love being built up that kamaki never really noticed but at the same time it's it's stupid to say that this is just how a woman would go and act so it's not like oh by the way he she's acting it, that's definitely only females like nah bro like i'm pretty sure there's some guys out there that you know has su said these things right off the bat and gotten rejected just like how she did this week but at the same time it's definitely not just a boy or just a girl thing and that's pretty much what i was taking from this is it it's definitely the feeling of love and to not have it back you know to be f felt the same way that hurts more than anything and that that's pretty much what this is in my opinion is someone not understanding or someone 
just never feeling that way about you, you know, so not only does it kind of make you look bad uh, when you start thinking about it in your head, you're like, oh man, I like this person, and they didn't even notice me, or I was never even good for them to, you know, be in that type of position, so it's like, there's a lot of different ways they can go about uh, having this character react to this, and I think that's what's the good thing about having uh, love being in the pictures, because love is such a um, unspoken sometimes bond that you really can't say it wasn't there um, if the author says it was there or if the creator said it was there because maybe there was just little hints and into windows and there's also the fact that people have experienced love and you know relationships everybody's relationships would be different you know so you can't really judge one off of how you had a relationship when um, they might be trying to show you that this is the way that they experienced this, did, or even worse, they, you know, said their how, their feelings and no one cared. Um, and not only did they not care, she picked or them they picked the worst place to say it because not only that, there's Toka, the one who literally is just making these bold statements like always like i'm so glad she's still the bold girl the oh, girl the bold woman that we pretty much grew to learn about because man she was bold this week talking about are you a virgin okay well if you haven't done it I, i'll take care of you you know you, know, you take care of, i take care of you you take care of me you know like that's pretty much how this that's pretty much how this whole thing was exchanged in my opinion like it was that forward um not only was it that forward, but after hearing this, you know, he's like, the guy was pretty much on just shock mode the whole entire, he was, comic he was just shocked, like, no fooling about that. And the one thing that I was, I, I really wanted to talk about all that to say this is, the 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 people who keep saying, like, Tokyo Ghoul is doo-doo and all that and stuff, you guys gotta understand that, I, I mean, I'm guessing you guys don't even watch these videos, so that's why I usually don't try to say anything to target your audience but if you guys do stop by and you hear in this um with what these guys just try to do with the wedding and showing both sides that even humans in this world right now uh or even the members of an organization fighting against the things that they're trying to eradicate are being treated almost worse than the ghouls or if not the same when coming down, well, no, not they're definitely being tra uh, treated almost worse, but not not nearly as bad. The ghouls are getting wiped out while the humans are being put in containment and being charged with things that will pretty much keep them away for life or take their lives if uh, if that actually comes to be the case. And what happens in this week's episode is just learning about someone who was protecting their friend or, you know, supposedly quote unquote was harboring a ghoul could almost give her uh, more than a life sentence or like death sentence, you know? So we're looking at a crazy way that this world is kind of falling apart on the humans and kind of becoming this open canvas for the ghouls now to right all of these wrongs. And I'm saying this with knowing about, the the man behind it all trying to push these um you know push all these pieces into line but at the same time you got to remember that the whole entire world that was built up through the anime is that the humans and the ghouls were always on fighting terms so not only is he kind of doing what the humans would like they love they want to see the ghouls eradicated but at the same time, now they're they're looking right back at the humans like you guys are could become the problem. Like we already found some of you humans were helping the ghouls get away with these some of these things like living and even, you know, the surgery place that we know where ghouls can get um, repaired and be where, with humans and be, you know, have the same type of hospital, stuff like that. Those are the types of people that they're really focusing on to crush in the law like in the law aspect without getting their hands literally dirty and 
you know, having people mistrust. But, I mean, it, it has now trickled down so far, um, the corruption and just the people not wanting to be around all of this, that now even the, this, you know, the quinks, or at least Psycho, the one who we call Psycho can see that the CCG is corrupted more than, you know, these other people who are not being considered Psycho, and she's completely right, you know, so if she's finding this out and people who are supposedly the intelligent ones aren't, like the ones that were all at the wedding and seemingly just allowing this to happen. And I love the the vice versa. Like, what does a ghoul's wedding look like? What is They're really doing things, in my opinion, which I'm guessing is the, the last move that they're trying to make, is putting the ghouls and the humans in the same exact boat um, to the point where you're walking down the street and the, instead of thinking of race and stuff, you're, they're more thinking of ghouls. And that, that's already how it is. But imagine if there was something in line with ghouls stepping in to take out other ghouls that are committing wrongs against humans. That would make a whole and different type of case for everybody and ghouls if you have them actually willing to take out their own kind because they took out one of your own. And uh, that's kind of where Comic Key feels like he's going with the whole thing. But with Homeboy that's straight up, you know, massacring all the ghouls right now to make humans and stuff feel like they're in power and all this. And seemingly having Rize's comedy. Um, not to mention all these people who we do know are very high ranked ghouls on their side. Uh, just pretty much waiting and lying in wait. Which is interesting because... Not only are they kind of doing their own type of way of human and ghoul interaction, uh, they're also creating, like with the babies that they're talking about, the ones that aren't like Kamaki, who weren't born with uh, ghoul, t uh, you know, ghoul blood and all that, but these these babies are born human, but with the ghoul like transplant like blood in them already, so. It's like a whole bunch of miniature comic keys running around just more efficiently, a more efficient way because they start out with it. It's not unnormal because they never lived a full on human life. And uh, people were probably going to ask why Toka was eating f actual like human food um, this week. And that's because she's a ghoul and she wants to get uh, as much nutrients and stuff to her body. Because, you know, like, the only thing they eat is, like, humans and stuff like that. And I'm guessing, you know, that's probably died down quite a bit now that they can't just run out and go out at night and find someone who committed suicide. Like, there's actual war on the streets. So, she had to put that stuff down or anything in the sort just to make sure this baby is coming out healthy. So, they went through a lot this week. Give them a little bit of credit for that. If not, okay, do you, I, whatever. But... Regardless, I hope you guys enjoyed what I had to say or at least my points of why it seemed like there was a lot of information that they're trying to put out there at least instead of just completely going into the next battle without us having any emotional attachment to all these people who we've been emotionally attached to for so long. So keep that in mind. Hopefully some of you will give the show a better watch through. Uh, whenever maybe it's done i think the best way to watch anime or to watch a show that you kind of are on the fence about is to let it all build up and once it's all built up and done just watch it out as it is because stopping week in week in and then guessing it's going to be bad is way worse than having every single episode at your fingertips and then just watching it as is so with that i hope you can I hope you guys out there can look at this show with a little bit more of a positive side. I mean, your negative side is also welcome because it helps shows get better by not just sugarcoating everything. But when an animation looks this good and when an anim uh, when the show is pretty much don't even have to do this anymore um, because it, the fans are so negative, the only reason why they're doing it is because of the fans that are not that the positive ones. So I thank you guys for actually having... Uh, not follow the the line of just talk trash about it because everybody's talking trash about it because that's not fair. So with that, everybody, 
I will talk to you in the next one. Black Clover is coming right after this. So if you're watching this and Black Clover is not out, I'm working on it. And I am literally about to drop it. So with that, peace.